911. What is your emergency? Frantic calls to 911. I'm at a friend's house. Uh, he's out of town, and I came here to check on the flight, and she's dead on the floor. Kimmel County 911. Oh, I killed my boyfriend in self-defense. Crime scenes and lives violently ended. Police officers arrived to find that she had been stabbed well over 20 times. That crime scene is anger, and it's violence, and it's rage, and it's hate. She was in a battle for her life as she was uh, being stabbed to death. Secrets and lies, and the search for suspects. The theories that were floating around in town, in that small town, those were very hurtful because it was everything from drug rings to prostitution. I mean, you name it. I already knew in the back of my head that Jerry was responsible for killing Michelle. His DNA was on the dress. The reality is we're not, we're not here on a whim. We're here to confirm what we already know. He, he actually agreed to, to uh, be interviewed for, for quite some time. I was on pins and needles as I was listening to the interview take place. Did you murder someone that night, Jerry? Why did this happen, Jerry? You don't know why this happened? I was not there that night. Well, we know better than that, Jerry. You know better than that. You know I'm not lying. Your, your wife, she's being arrested this evening and charged with murder. What? It definitely was hard to picture how this little girl could move a dead body. Trials and verdicts. It is the state's job to give you everything. The good, the bad, the ugly. We're here about a murder case, the most serious crime you can be charged with. I've been told we have a verdict. State's ready. Defense is ready. The defendant is guilty of first degree murder. And for some, closure. In the end, justice was done. And it was finally a book closed. It was, we're done. She did it. I'm Brian Ross. Join me for Killer Cases, a new podcast from Vault Studios and the Law and Crime Network.